I got started as an herbalist, um, actually inspired by my mom and I trying to find something that we could use to rejuvenate our own skin. Uh, we were looking for a locally made organic product and we just couldn't find it in the store. So we decided to make our own and that's where we developed the recipe for the Tropical Tuberose Skin Cream, which is the very first product that I made and it's since expanded from um, Last two years ago, I've been working for a souvenir store here in Kahului and then I really love that job. So when they close out here in Kahului, I tried to make my own business. So I started at the farmer's market. So I've been doing the farmer's market for two years now. That's why since I've been wanting to have my own business and store, that's why I started my own business. And then I want to look at it here in Kahului as well. Started more as a fine artist and then the jewelry became more of a passion. Um, in the beginning when I was in college I actually studied jewelry making and worked on 47th Street in Manhattan um, but I was so turned off by the industry um, that I quit and I went back to fine art and graphic design and then I started finding out a few years later um, about this school that taught more of the ancient jewelry making and I decided to do it more for myself as my own passion and one thing led to another and all of a sudden my friends and my family were asking for pieces and then their friends were asking for pieces and then next thing I knew I was in business. My name is Sherry Dion. My name is Mikey Ramos. My name is Emma. I am from the Philippines, but I migrated here in Hawaii last 2009. I've been on Maui for 23 years and originally from New York. I'm from Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, I was born in the Rocky Mountain foothills and I've lived in Maui for almost 10 years now. So I'm just going to pre-drill a little first. I work in high carat gold and there's very few people in the world really that work in high carat gold. Um, and I'm trying to mimic ancient jewelry, the way that it was made back then, um, the techniques that were developed back then. That's part of what makes my jewelry unique. The other part is that, so I take the ancient techniques, but I also work with symbols. I like to work with symbols from all different cultures, and I also like to just sort of follow my own intuition and combine things as they go. Um, and I think that's how things become so unique. I would consider myself a full-on artist. Um, I paint and sculpt and make jewelry, as well as these days even writing a little bit. I have been in business since 1997, um, part-time, and I worked other jobs and I ran other galleries and I even learned bookkeeping along the way. Um, never really knowing that I was going to open up my own gallery and that kind of happened about I would say five years ago in this location and a few years before that in a real funky location up in Keokea. What does success mean to me? Success means being positive and following through and feeling the love and compassion on a daily basis. That makes me feel successful. I know the purity of my metal versus buying it prefabricated. 
And the purity is really important to the techniques that I do. What accomplishments am I most proud of? Well, I'd say this gallery, um, from first visualizing it to actually creating it and making it happen. Um, it takes a lot to not only create it physically, but also to be here and keep it running. And to be here and make the, the pieces right here. I like to have a young person here in the summertime, usually a student or somebody who is an up-and-coming artist, just so that they get an idea of what it's like to run a business. Um, I give them little odd jobs to do or they'll help me with my tools or making jewelry or website things like that. But we've also given a homeless person a home and a job. So we have now somebody on site who caretakes the property and stays here in the evenings and, and I feel like we give back that way. Women of the past, um, women sculptors, women painters, women business people um, that have persevered even when they were told they couldn't do it. My greatest strength is perseverance and commitment. I've always thought that one of my greatest strengths is my passion and my devotion. Um, as a business owner, there's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, so you have to work seven days to look out your business. So you do um, have to do all your accounting stuff. You do all your inventory. You have to know also know like what's the customer needed and also you need to offer a lot of discount to get people and then you need to advertise it as well so I have to really think about those kind of business being a business as a business owner I feel a lot of responsibility actually responsibility first and foremost to the earth um, because that's such a focus of my business is really caring for the Aina, caring for the land. Um, when I harvest things out in the wild, I'm, I'm very particular about how I harvest and that it's ethically harvested and, and always with a prayer and a thanks of gratitude. To be able to do everything from the beginning to the end of the day, meaning the setup, the cleaning, um, the creating of the atmosphere, the greeting of the clients, the making of the pieces, the bookkeeping, um, the getting back to people's emails, the computer work, I mean it's endless. Website, yeah, there's a lot to it. What am I most grateful for? Probably having been brought back to life after having died, literally. Um, when I came back, I, I was given a vision and um, a clarity that I didn't have before. Um, what am I most grateful for? Um, the most grateful I am for now is that I have my own business and I am doing it because of my son. So I can also take care of my son here in my own store now. I don't have, need a babysitter. That's why I really love doing this. What am I most grateful for? I'm most grateful actually for the ability to be grateful. I think that it's all the small things in the world that, that inspire me and it's taking the time to really notice them and to be open to them. Those are the things that make me grateful and, and so in that, that's that's even just the ability to sit there and, and experience that feeling is what I'm most grateful for. Um, gratitude is one of those things that instantly transforms us from a place of fear to a place of love. Um, that's, that's where we most fully express who we are. So it's, it's the ability to feel gratitude. I think that's such a deep connecting point too that that we can connect to each other and, and this amazing planet that we live on. Um, and we do that through gratitude. My 
business name is m and m home store so the m and m stand for my name and then my child name um, since I work as a souvenir store before for almost three years I love to do this job and then I love um, dealing with tourist people and then they come over here and then they come to the store where I used to work with and then they really love our product that they offer since they closed down because of the highway change here in Kahului they went to the by the Walmart so they closed down because it went slower yeah but since I love that really doing that kind of job I did my own so I started from the farmers market I've been doing that for almost two years and then I started my own when I had the capital to open a business already. I just want to overcome all my fear and weakness and I want to help my family doing this business. That's why all my employees are all my family here. I do offer a reasonable price for souvenir store like I do have the t-shirts it's only to seven dollar seven pieces for twenty dollar which is like two dollar and eighty three cents I also offer tank tops and long sleeve that is just like less than ten dollar I also have Hawaiian dress I have bags luggages that is Hawaiian printed most of the I also offer um like Hawaiian chocolate and a lot of stuff like hats that is really Hawaiian um, my role model is my mom who um, inspired me to do a business um, as a young age we do own a business before in the Philippines it's just like a little grocery store that we offer um, to have a customer with our neighbor that's it so when we go to a big store like she always told me that what would you like to be when you grow up so it's like my dream before is that I want to be a sales lady in the store like doing things like this I am a woman and I'm only 23 years old then I have my own business so if you have a dream of doing a business and if you're just like 20s you can do it girl just pray and then if you have perseverance and commitment you can do it what is my supergirl power so my supergirl power is a power that i really have and uh it's it's being able to talk to the universe and also listen and receive an answer I think this is a power that actually everybody has, especially women. Wow, what is my super girl power? <laughs> um, I visualize and I like to use my energy to create my visions. Um, and I like to shift energy. I think when things get a little funky, but you gotta go in there and kind of shift the energy and I do it in a lot of different crazy ways. So yeah, that's my super girl power. <laughs> My super girl power is I'm a strong so whatever I want to put in my mind I want to do it. That's why I started my own business. Success mean to me is um, if you are ready um, stand up and then pursue your dreams. So that's what I think that the successful mean to me. A year from now, I would love to see myself in a bigger space where I could be exhibiting more of what I do, so including the paintings, um, my sculpture, and the jewelry. Um, I could also have a space where other artists could come and do workshops, and people could come and watch it all happening, and maybe even have a space where um, readings, poetry readings, and artist talks and things could happen. That would be incredible. So I believe after one year now, what will happen is that I want to have my other store 
which is located more on popular places here in Maui, like Lahaina or Kihei. If we were here a year from now celebrating, uh, hopefully it would be the success of my business and that um, I was able to reach as many people as possible. Right now I'm really based here on Maui. I'm working farmers markets where I'm showing up and able to um, interact directly with the people that I'm um, reaching for my products and I'd really like to be able to reach other people directly um, out on the mainland and even beyond that and just spread the magic of organic botanical beauty care and all this beautiful medicine that we have in Maui. Um, and I also think that this is really a journey of personal growth so um, in celebrating I hope that I continue to grow as an individual and continue to learn about business and about my own personal uh, path on the planet. The name of my business is Zephyr Rising Apothecary. So Zephyr Rising Apothecary is a botanical beauty care company based in Maui. I have a line of skin care, um, so different skin creams. I also make bath salts and different infused oils for pain and tension, um, a whole bunch of different herbal elixirs for rejuvenation and just restoring the body and the mind. I've been in business for almost exactly a year now. What's unique about my business is that I source everything organically and I'm really, really particular about putting high quality ingredients and often locally sourced. Um, all the herbs that I use are grown here on Maui, either by really good friends of mine or in my own garden. Sometimes I go out into the jungle and I wildcraft them. Um, I think a good businesswoman should be kind and open-hearted. Um, women are incredibly intuitive and I think that we really have the power to change the way business is done and um, we're also the wisdom keepers so I think that um, a good businesswoman should really listen to that and be guided by her intuition um, and, and gentleness. I think there's a balance that comes along with being a, a good business. Just today, a woman was telling me at the farmer's market that uh, she uses one of my oils to rub the feet of her hospice patients. And I almost cried. I thought that was the most beautiful use of my medicine that I could hope for. So I feel like um, bringing plants to people that really need them uh, is part of my mission. And just being able to share the magic and the medicine that those bodies of energy hold and um, I work with local farmers in the community to source my herbs, so I'm supporting the, the local economy and um, also advocating for organic farming and organic uh, practices in, in all aspects of life. And I also think just empowering women to make healthy choices in terms of what kind of beauty care products they use and to learn about what natural actually means most like to be known for bringing light and I consider myself an alchemist. It's a very ancient art and uh, maybe in this application it even seems funny but to me it's really the art of transformation. Um, it's taking one thing and transforming it into something else and I really see that as something that I'm doing. I have this this plant that has such magic um, and I'm combining it with all these other ingredients and then transforming it into something that's um, useful for, for the human beings um, and accessible to all people. And um, I think just infusing light into, into those products and, and sharing light with the world, that's what I'd most like to be known for. I'm really inspired by my mom. She's one of the reasons why this whole company started, actually. She's an incredibly strong woman. Um, and she's, she's the kind of person that is just on all the time. You know, she works hard. And, and I play really hard. So we, we can, we're like a perfect com combination of um, the impetus for creating this company that's really based on rejuvenation and um, helping people. And the other people that inspire me, you know, sometimes they don't even have names, but they still inspire me. Um, just people that are really honest and kind, people that are really themselves, and um, people that 
uh, people that share their art with the world. I think this whole journey of starting my own business has been a huge accomplishment for me because it's really opened up my voice. Um, I think I sometimes am afraid to really say what I feel or speak my mind and um, this venue and interacting with people at markets and, and being able to talk about something that's really meaningful to me has really given me a platform to, to be able to share myself fully and openly with people and, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. What makes me feel beautiful? I feel beautiful when I know that I already overcome my weakness. Um, I also feel beautiful that I have my son that I am love. I feel most beautiful when I feel a sense of connection to the land, to my community, and even to my own heart. What makes me feel beautiful is supporting other people and being beautiful and creating pieces for them that inspire them. What is the name of my business? Studi my business is called Studio 22K. I would like other people to know that their buying power affects the world and that their choices about where they spend their money or where they put their energy is really valuable. Meaning, if you put your money into another artist or another person who um, makes their things by hand or is unique or is a small business person, you're going to help people and help that to to continue. If you put your money into big corporations, you're going to keep that alive. So think about it.